am Dr. Amari. I'm going to help you with experiment two, demonstration part one of the experiment two. We have some elements in a closed jar and I'm holding for you to record your observation. When you're recording observation, you want to see what color it is. Is it going to be shiny? Is it not going to be shiny? And is it liquid solid at, uh, at room temperature? And if you read the introduction or not if, when you read the introduction for experiment uh, two about physical property, you have better idea what information you want to collect. You can pause the video at any time you like to, to focus on one element and uh, record your observation for these elements. So we are looking at the element of carbon. Then we are looking at the element of copper. Copper, you have seen copper at home for copper, like piping for plumbing. The copper is used for sometimes for cookware. It is, uh, it is used the same thing for carbon. It's the, the pencil lead, it's carbon. So you can, you also have them at home. Iodine is, uh, is in closed container. I'm not going to open it because of all these signs that you recognize them. They are not safe for us to even open it. Um, so it's solid, it's brown color solid. I have to tell you that. Then next we have magnesium. I want you to check the magnesium and record your observation for, uh, for magnesium. We have uh, magnesium. These are smaller pieces of the magnesium. We also have the magnesium ribbon, that magnesium ribbon in a different container. Just had to grab to show it to you. Um, these are the pieces of magnesium um, ribbon. Some metals you can touch all the cookwares or any metal that you see at home, uh, you can touch them. They are not all dangerous, but some elements that they are toxic, you don't want to. Next element is uh, silica. So we have the powder of the uh, silica, record your observation, and that is silica. Next we have sulfur, record your observation for uh, sulfur based on the physical property, based on the appearance, color, and how it looks. Um, next we have zinc. We have pieces of zinc. We've seen zinc before in experiment one. This is experiment two. We are using zinc for classification of the compound based on metal, non-metal, and also some general properties for the, for the elements. So these are the, the, the few elements that you will be classifying. 